friends, welcome back to my channel Roblox. Today we have our first hybrid car in our channel. It is a Kia Niro plug-in hybrid. Let's talk money. Because this Kia Nero plug-in hybrid starts from 32,960 euros. So let's start with the design. You got your lights, which are LEDs, and they have a cool design in them. And but they don't have the reverse lights integrated into them. They're down over here. Your reflector, and you have some vents which are fake. See, and I will show you how they work. Oh, see, this is the key for the Nero. And the controls are over here. So you got your brake lights, which are brilliant and they look cool at the nights. Coming over here, you have got your Eco Badge plug-in hybrid. Then you got your Kia Badge. Then you got your Nero Badge. And then you have your boot opener over here. See, uh, see. Then coming down, you have got your bumper, which is in painted steel color, but they're plastic actually. So, huh? Where's the question? I have a question. Where's the exhaust pipe in this car? Hmm. I cannot see them. Oh, oh, they're there. See, they're so tiny. So when you like take a look at this car for the first time, you think it is an electric car. But no, it is a plug-in hybrid and you have your exhaust pipe over here. Coming to the sides, see, now you could see there's a roof boiler over here. See, for, and then you have got your roof in. So you have got your steel roof bar. So you have got a huge metallic trim over here, which gives the car a luxurious effect. Then coming to the side, you've got a crease over here, which is a sharp crease. Then you've got your wheel arch, which is chunky. So you've got your fuel pipe over here. And as you know, this is a hybrid. So it has got an electric motor and an engine. And the, char and the plug for the electric charging is over here. Oh, we need to unlock the car. See, now it's open. So do you want to see the charger of this? Come with me. Here it is. Oh. See, this is the charger. And <clears throat> see. And now let's hook it back where it was. Now let's go back to the design. Okay, let's close this. That's closed. Then you have a door handle which is in uh, metallic trim, and you have got keyless entry. See. Ta da. And you could close it also like that. And it's locked. This is the button for it. So now coming down here, got a huge metal plate, which is luxurious. And coming over here, you have got your foldable uh, uh, mirrors, which can open when you unlock the car and lock. And when you lock it, it will go inside. So the length of this car is 4,355 centimeter and the ground clearance is 160. So coming to the wheels, these are 16 inches and they have got a cool design and they're aerodynamic. See, it looks like a pizza. And you have got some metallic trim over here. And also you have got chunky front wheel arches. So coming to the front, you have got it just speaks for itself so let me just walk you through it you have got your grill which is like a diamond dish and they have some vents in them see my finger goes through over there but also but does not go through there then you have got a huge metallic trim over here the kia badge you have got a crease in the bonnet see then you got your LED lights, which has their 
daytime running lights integrated and I will show you that also so these are your LED lights see they have got their blinkers in them and they have also got their main lights integrated but you cannot see them in the daytime so the lights over here are called double arrow lights in Kia language these are the fog lamps then you got the vents over here for the air for the radiators and these can close when the engine does not need cooling and needs then you got your silver trim front bumper so guys let's go to the interior now so coming inside you have got your leather seats you have got decent amount of headroom decent amount of knee room and leg room so then you have got your armrest it's a good thing and you have got cup holders over here but one thing which is not preferable for me is that when you're sitting like this you put your arm inside over here like just i did you have got your isofix points for plugging your baby seat in then you have got your air vents in the back coming over here you have got your nero kick plate and coming to the door you have got your heated seats your window control and you have got some blue stitching over here to dignify its electric let's go to the front seats so coming over here you have got some soft leather in cream then some black leather and blue stitching bins which are a bit scratchy then you have got your door bins uh, which can fit a large bottle see now let's start the car see you have got your infotainment system confirm and look at the infotainment system it's neatly laid out and this car is really blingy and flashy but conservative also so you have got your navi infotainment system you have got your navigation your battery monitoring system so you got your ev range your energy information charging management eco driving energy flow and you could search for charging stations and you have got various features over here such as pav driving info and others then coming down you have got your ac vents which is also in metallic trim and there's so small uh, vents then you have got your hazard your uh, shortcut buttons your climate control then coming down you have got your charger usb and 12 volt socket and you have got a small compartment for charging your phone with the usb so you have got your ear selector over here your ev and have button your reverse camera when you put it in reverse and your parking sensors then you have got heated steering wheel so the steering wheel will be, will be heated up then you have got driver and passenger heated seats then you have got your parking brake then the cup holders in which you could fit a large bottle so you have got your armrest which is squeegee the seats they are leather they have got blue stitching in them then in the carpets you have got nero written down and the center console over here it looks like a uh, a s class because it's so huge the infotainment system then you got your digital display which is also huge then over here you have got your uh, glove box which is a all right size and now coming to the steering wheel it is leather it's completely leather and you have got some uh, metallic bits over here and the center bosting is a bit plasticky and you have got your kia logo the voice commands your radio control your phone answer and decline then coming to the side you have got your information button which shows you lots of inf information on the screen then you have got your uh, cruise control so when you click it uh, it works so this is the okay button and you could 
plus add the speed and lower the speed the lane keeping assist so you have, here you have got your needle batch your eco power and charge your battery range then you have got your seat belt logo <laughs> which is on then you have got driving modes which shows you over here the range you have got your uh, your speed limit your handbrake eco plug-in badge and a kilometer and your petrol range so coming over here you have got your lane keeping assist button your traction control vest your headlight control so how much beam do you want then you have got your settings of one two and three you have got your fuel opening button your L uh, charging station opening button and now let's go to the boot so you could open the boot by a key or by this see it's a semi-automated tailgate and you have got a huge space in over here it has got 324 liters of boot space which is a good thing with all the seats up and you have got your fossil shelf over here uh, which you which is hard to put in place Let me now fold the seats it's a bit of a faff and coming to the side head you got your release seat one fold and now you have to go to the opposite side to fold the other seats down and now you have got a boot space of 1322 liters it's a huge boot now and now let's close the boot so you have got a 1.6 liter engine mated to a 6 speed DCT gearbox then you have a 8.5 kilowatt hour battery and combined you have got 139 horsepower and 148 newton meters of torque so guys that's it for this video and I would definitely recommend this Kia Niro plug-in hybrid if you are in the market for the small SUVs and efficient and uh, desirable and cool also this Kia Niro is all of that and it takes all the boxes so guys you if you are in the market you should buy the Kia Niro plug-in hybrid for sure so guys bye